Okay. Go. Hello. Today we will be performing a chromatography lab in Chemistry 116. Chromatography works on principles of chemical polarity. It is an analytical tool used to separate a mixture and helps in identifying its components. These chromatographic separations are done by distributing a mixture of substances between two phases, stationary and mobile. In, chromatograph in chromatography, polar substances dissolve best in other polar substances and vice versa. Substances that interact strongly with stationary phases will move very slowly, and the components of the mixture identified by how far they move or how long they take and lead the components to graphic system. Okay, so now we're going to spot metal red. If it reaches the salt, a small dot on the paper. Three, two, one, go. Next, we will take a um, sample of fluorescein and place a dot onto the paper. Squeeze some of the substance into the capillary tube. And place a small dot on the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue spotting our paper. Um, you come closely, I've already spotted a few solutions. So my last spot will be our unknown solution. So we'll do is we'll going to place our capillary to two. 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 And we're going to make a small dot on our line. We have our unknown, which is going to be 132, and we're going to put a little bit in here. water acetone inside the beaker. Make sure the water acetone is less than the centimeter line on the paper plate. After doing so, you'll place the paper plate inside the beaker. Make sure it is sturdy and will not tip over and that the water acetone does not go above the line or touch. After doing so, place a saran wrap on top of the beaker. Put a rubber band around it to conceal. After doing so, we will wait to see how far up the, the spots go on the paper. So we're going to take off the rubber band and we're going to take out, take it out. Put it on the paper towel here. And we're going to mark with a pencil where it stops. It should be like right here. And there we go. We're going to measure it. 
measure in centimeters with this ruler. All right, what we're aiming for is we're gonna aim for the strongest point on the actual the line. All right, we're going from the line and we go up to it. And we'll say the strongest point on this one was one centimeter. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna write down this as one centimeter. All right. Now we're gonna come back over here to this and we're going to document this one. You can barely see it, but it's there. And we're going to go from here to here. And we're gonna measure it at about five and a half centimeters. Five and a half centimeters. All right, did that. All right, so now we're going to measure this one right here. And we're gonna measure from here up, and it is about four and three fourths centimeters. So we're gonna write that. All right, now we're going to measure this dark green dot here, and we're gonna measure from the bottom. If I can get the ruler, I'm gonna measure from the bottom to it, and it's the strongest point right there. So, and as you can see, it is about. 5.6, so we're going to say 5.6 for that one. Alright, and for this one, we're going to measure that right there. And that would happen to be our methyl red. And we're going to start it from here. And we're going to go up to about there. And you can see the dot is right here. It's not the top, it's right here. So we're going to say that that is about how many foot around. <laughs> That is about 4.8. So we're going to come over here with like 4.8. And now we have our unknown. So now we're going to measure our unknown with the ruler. And start from the line. And you'll notice that the strongest point is up in this general area. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to mark it as about 5.8 as well. And there we go. We documented this. And...